We are in Madagascar. I'm sure you heard about it. Madagascar. I'm sure you've seen the cartoon about Madagascar. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. doesn't really talk about Madagascar like that. This is Madagascar. Okay, it's a big piece of land that belongs to Africa, offshore Africa. Okay, they are our brothers. They are Africans like all of us. Yes, it's a mixture of cultures. Any place, trust me, is a mixture of culture. They aren't really a place where people are 100% what they used to be. Absolutely. So anyway, it's just very sad. Sometimes you see they don't put Madagascar on the map. It's like when they design Africa, when you make a Africa representation, they rarely put Madagascar. And I feel not nice about it. Anyway, so Madagascar is was just about to vote a law. I believe they voted a law already at parliament about castrating anybody that dares do those things to children. Exactly, I have to speak that way because uh, we're getting sanctioned. That's how it is. This is not our platform. The owner of the platform believes you cannot say certain things. If you say those things, you get sanctioned. And eventually, you understand. So, back to the point. Madagascar, people have voted the law. Okay, the law has not been implemented yet, but they've accepted the law. Castrating anybody that dares to do those things to children. Now, here are some reactions. Now, we got the reaction from the ambassador of EU, European Union. Her name is Isabelle Delattre. She says, I do not believe that castration is a deterrent solution for violent people. So, yeah, do not castrate them because it's not a deterrent. I don't believe that. Now, my question is, what is a deterrent, ma'am? What do you think is a deterrent? Um, what would do the be better job? I'm very interested to know. How do you get people not to do those things? What type of punishment do they... Um, you know, we, we'd like to know. Many people believe that the law was established as a measure to fight against. I'm not going to use the word fight against when somebody want to force themselves on. You get it, right? So it was a shock, you know, a shock measure. When you think about if I dare do this, the result would be I'm going to be castrated. Do you understand what castrated is? Being castrated is a way they do to remove certain things from your organs. There are many types of castration. There's chemical castration. There's biological castration. In chemical castration, for instance, they do a procedure in a way that you do not have those feelings anymore. So that urge goes away. Biological castration is when they take some, you know, those stuff out of you, you know, yeah, they take it out and it drops your level of testosterone and you will not be able to, yeah. There are many, many compartments about that. Anyway, you understand the concept. So they feel that in order to deter people from doing those things, we need to vote a law that says if anybody they do that to a young man, a young boy, a young girl, whatever, they're going to have those stuff removed. Now, the human rights people are in the room. They say it goes against human rights. You cannot do that. So people can, in other words, do that to your children, but you can't do nothing to them besides uh, throwing them in jail for a couple of years. Then they say, okay, you've been in jail long enough. You behaved well in jail. You know, you can come out. How fair is that compared to how a child will feel for the rest of their life? A life completely destroyed by somebody, you know, they will never get their innocence anymore. They're probably going to live with wounds and difficulties their whole life. You're going to have trust issues and many other problems. Okay? Because of this guy that went to jail for a couple of years, ate a lot of food for free, then came out and proceeded with his life. So Madagascar people say, we need to do something about it. Whether it is really serious that if you do that, we're going to chop it off or we're just carrying you. You don't think it's one positive, perhaps, way of trying to combat this thing? I don't know. You let me know if you agree with the yeah, European Union. So, they say in Madagascar, most of the cases of violation are resolved through material compensation. So, that's happened in a lot of African countries. You need to be honest about it. When people are victims of those situations, sometimes the person who was the aggressor will just come with money and goods and stuff. And because most of the time, the family of the victim will be going through hardships and difficulties financially, the money will do the trick. You go like, oh, we have already lost that innocence in the girl or the boy. Should you lose the money as well? They go, well, no, we can't lose both. They will take the money or the gift or whatever. I know this is not nice, but that's the reality of many people. I know not many people have the courage to say, you know what? Take your money and shove it up your... No, we don't need that. Okay. Not many people have that 
Yeah. So it's very sad. But in Madagascar as well, unfortunately, compensation were done within communities as a result of major cases. The justice doesn't even know about it. Okay. So this is what the delegation of the European Union said. They said the Malagasy government doesn't respect international commitment, nor its own constitution. So to them, Madagascar does not respect international commitment or their own constitution. I just find it weird that you're trying to protect your children and somebody else from another continent is not what you're doing is wrong. You shouldn't be doing that to protect your children because it's against human right. Who's right? They say the fact that the country adheres to the United Nations Convention against many things, they should not be able to, yeah, to vote that law in their country. They said, to them, castration is an act of mutilation. It hurts people, so it shouldn't be authorized. So, my question is this, Fred. How would you react if somebody did something like that to your child? Let's just be honest. If you had an opportunity, one-on-one -on -one position, you and the person, what would you do? Is that justice? Or maybe it is justice. Is that legal? Oh, no, it's definitely not legal. But is that justice? It probably is justice. So why? Because you as a father and mother, you get to do what you have to do. Is it legal? It's not. Is it justice? Yes, it's justice. Because justice to your child. Justice to how you feel. The, the difficulties you've had. Justice to the nine months you carry that baby boy or girl in your stomach. It's justice. Now, the question we have here, we've heard many stories, okay? We, we cannot confirm these stories of uh, older men wanting, you know what I mean? In Europe, most of the time, okay? Most of the time. In America. So, just seeing a situation where Africans are trying to find a way. I don't care whether they really mean it, okay? To chop that thing off. Let's say they didn't really mean it, okay? Is it not okay to threaten people with something really drastic? Should they do something with, as horrible as that? Is it not okay to say, if you dare do that, we're going to do this to you? Why aren't them out there? Why haven't they expressed themselves with regard to or a proposition or, or maybe a proposal in terms of laws? What can we do? Something really harsh to punish somebody that does such a thing. But in the meantime, they will punish really hard somebody that doesn't think like them. Okay, somebody that displays critical information from them. They will punish him really, really hard. Do you know Julian Assange? Julian Assange. I, I, I'll ask you to go do some research about him. Very interesting. Um, you know, freelancer who was displaying things about powerful state. Today is jailed. That shows you that human right is very questionable. Okay. Is human right really human right or human right just a sentence they throw here and there when it's benefit them? Like when Palestinians are suffering, nobody calls human right. But when other people in other countries are suffering, you're calling on human right. It's crazy. Should Madagasi be able or have the authority to vote their own law with regard to people that are doing those things to children. You let me know. Should Ugandans vote their own law to say we don't want these type of people to be with that type of people because it's our culture and somebody else has to fight it and, you know, block Uganda from many things, from commerce, sanction them and not give them visa. I don't know. Let me know. We're trying to find justice and, and reality. Unfortunately, law is not necessarily justice. Unfortunately, uh, that's the reality of it. Justice in many countries, it's about how much money you have. Usually, if you have the most money, you hire the most prominent lawyers, you're going to win your case, even if you're completely wrong. Yeah. So, can Madagascar choose its own law without necessarily being lectured on how they should be and what laws they voted and what signature they put down? Does it only hurt when they hurt the person that hurt somebody? So, it doesn't hurt that little girl or boy that was hurt, but it hurts more what they can do to the person who did the hurt to the little girl? Let me know how you feel about this. God bless.